Welcome back, and here's our update for the first part of this week. So as you can see here, we started laying up um, the lower half of the fuselage, actually creating the part. So here we are using the uh, heavy ply, which is kind of equivalent to three plies of uh, carbon fiber, and we lay it across on an angle and uh, just a slight overlap there, and we're actually using the impregnator there to wet down the fabric, and it comes out, squeezed out of the rollers and had uh, pretty much the right amount of resin. This is the first time we've used it, so we're just, again, experimenting just to see uh, exactly what settings needed to be used on that, but uh, came out fine. Some of the um, bits there needed to have a little bit more resin put on there just um, just to wet it down a little bit more, but uh, overall it was pretty good. So there's the first uh, layer all gone down. And then the second layer um, we switched over to was a single ply. So it basically gives us, gives us the equivalent of four plies. And so here you can see laying down um, the first layer of single ply. And we kind of staggered the layer, so we went back the other way. And so the seam overlaps are sort of in the middle from one uh, one layer to the next. And without going into sort of, you know, giving you the rundown on the whole thing, basically um, the process was one layer of heavy, so the three ply, and one layer of light. And then we pretty much stopped there and peel plied um, the whole setup um, and vacuumed it to let it all set up. So um, the reason for that was we needed to lay the core in and we needed time to do that. And we it's a little bit more of a process. So um, we decided just to sort of finish that up uh, on Monday um, just with vacuum bags. And you'll see that in a second. But basically uh, it came out good. It didn't take, uh, it was just basically the morning to do that and a little bit of the afternoon. So not too long really. To get it all done um, didn't have any real issues with it and here you can see uh, there it is uh, under vacuum and just two hoses hooked up to that so pit, some peel ply lay down and some breather fabric and then the uh, vacuum bag uh, put on there with the um, double-sided uh, sticky seal around the edge in order to keep the vacuum and uh, we're all good okay so this morning uh, we came in and we basically took the uh, vacuum off and vacuum bag off and then the uh, peel ply and the breather off and came out really nicely. So the next uh, job was to lay down the core. And if you'd been watching the previous videos, you'll see that we already had the core pieces already cut. So what we had to do was mix up some resin and some micro and butter the back of those and then lay them into place uh, carefully and tape them there. And then uh, put down some more peel ply and uh, breathe the fabric again. And just we use, reuse the same vacuum bag. So just put the vacuum back on there and um, drew it all down and, and again let it sit so that's going to cure and then uh, tomorrow we'll be uh, actually just buttering around the edges there of the core and soon we'll be ready to lay the other two layers of carbon fiber there possibly tomorrow um, or possibly uh, the following day so that's basically the fuselage laid up or half laid up now and while we were doing that this morning the guys were putting the black goop on the aft bulkhead plug and you can see that's basically laid down there before lunch. And uh, the next thing on that one, because uh, we're obviously creating the mold, the next thing on that one was to um, get the uh, resin cabo mix around the vacuum bag channel there. And so you can see that kind of white edge around there. And then here we are just before lunch. Um, we've got the first layer of glass down put on there as well. And then uh, we went off and had some lunch and we came back and... Uh, basically attacked this and, and got the uh, two layers of carbon fiber and um, one layer of heavy carbon fiber. So two layers of light and one layer of heavy. And then so tomorrow we have to put down three more layers of heavy. So here you can see this is basically three hours or three and a half hours of work all crammed into a minute or so. Um, anyway, so while this is going on, I'll give you another update. Um, we actually went up to the local airport uh, here uh, yesterday afternoon, or yesterday evening, they had a board meeting up there, and we went and introduced ourselves and and um, you know told them what we were doing and and uh, sort of laid the groundwork for possibilities of um, more space and space up on the airport there, more space down in the industrial park here for when we start um, setting up to do um, production of customer aircraft, and they were super receptive uh, with what we were doing, and just sounds like they're just going to be great to work with. Uh, so we'll be uh, meeting with them more over the next couple of months and uh, just to discuss, you know, what sort of options and stuff we have for setting up around here and, uh, you know, obviously our production facility and then hangar 
space up on the airport there for uh, doing completions, at least initially for the prototype. Um, and then obviously we'll be test flying out of the local airport here. So uh, it was it was really uh, really fun to meet with those guys, and, and like I said, they were super receptive, and uh, it was just nice to you know meet with, with a bunch of pilots also who you know sort of got what we were trying to do here and uh, excited to have something like that you know right in their backyard. Anyway, back to what's going on here. So here you can see we put down the layer of heavy uh, heavy carbon and that. That stuff is just great. It just just molds really well around everything, so you don't have to make too many cuts and nips and stuff like that to make it fit. Um, it just goes over there, and of course, then we had to put a little patch on the top there because the fabric is only, I think it's fifty nine inches wide, and that half bulkhead was just uh, you know wider than that or higher than that. So uh, we were just finishing off there, and you see next up um, we'll be laying down the peel ply on there. Um, so we can peel that off again uh, tomorrow and uh, here it goes as the peel ply going down so we'll be peeling that back off again tomorrow and then we'll have uh, three more layers of the heavy uh, carbon to go down on this one and then uh, that mold actually is going to get some bracing on the back of it just to sort of um, you know sort of shore it up a little bit and make it easier to lay but it won't be long and we'll be able to actually create the part for that off bulk aft bulkhead so there's the last bit of uh, peel ply going down. Of course, we've got to sort of pat it all down so it, it gets a nice good seal up against um, the resin that's underneath it and the carbon. So anyway, that's our update for the first half of this week. And uh, thanks for watching.